Everyone is talking about the latest fashion trends for fall 2023. We have seen the articles, we have seen the videos, they're everywhere. And the thing is, is some of them are very wearable, some of them are very fun, right? So we already have metallics in there, suiting, and of course the color red. However, there are some trends that I say are probably less wearable than others. And in fact, I would say they borderline on completely and totally unwearable. And those are the trends that actually fascinate me because I think that fashion is something that we should all be able to enjoy. And so how is it that we can kind of take these items that we see on the runway, these trends that we're hearing about and make them all something that we can wear? So in today's video, I'm going to be focusing on some of the more unwearable trends and how we can in fact make them wearable. First and foremost, pants under skirts. So this one I thought was probably the most unwearable because it adds bulk. <laughs> So after giving this a bit of thought, I really decided that one of the best ways to go about this would be to use kind of a full body length bodysuit, jumpsuit, you know, cat suit, however we want to call it. And then opt with like this blazer, as you see I have on here, and a matching skirt. Now this could very easily be a skirt suit and that would be one way to do it, but I didn't have a suit in this color that was a skirt suit, so I just opted for a blazer and this cute little cashmere skirt. As you can see, you could pair this with heels or you could do it with ankle boots. Either way, it is a really great way to kind of also be able to use, like if you've been wanting to like wear like one of these, you know, cat suits, but didn't really know how to do it. This is one of the ways where you can do it. I will note also that you see, you know, with my suit, it obviously has a pattern. You wouldn't have to do that with, you know, your bodysuit. You could just do something in one solid color. This might be like the perfect kind of way to just add that bit of fashion into your wardrobe. Okay, the next look I really wanna get into is the double denim look. Specifically, really thinking about, you know, this whole how we can wear denim on denim. This trend has been around for more than one season. It is not new for fall, but I do think it's one of the ones that it seems wearable and it seems like it should be easy, but in actuality, I don't know, I feel like in practice when you start trying to put it together, you can start to feel a little bit weird, right? Like you can start, for me at least, I start to feel like I am in a Western. I feel like I'm a little cowgirl. And you know, being here in France, you know, already they think all Americans are cowboys and cowgirls, so I just don't need that. <laughs> A lot of the looks that I'm seeing on the runways and whatnot, they're they're very matchy matchy. They're denim, same tone or you know same wash, that sort of thing. Instead, what I've opted to do with this is. I wanted to do something a bit different. So as you see, I have kind of two different tones of denim, two different washes of denim, completely different washes. So first and foremost, I have on this cute little overall. It is a denim overall set. And then what I've done is I've put over on top of it a quilted denim jacket, right? So not only am I playing with different washes of denim, different colors of denim, but I'm also playing with kind of different textures. And this, I think, creates a lot of visual interest to the outfit. And then you can finish it off with either heels or you could do, frankly, sneakers or even you could do ankle boots. But either way, like this is a way I found to kind of wear this trend in a way that it doesn't feel like it is, you know, that I don't feel like I'm a cowboy or a cow cowgirl or in a Western movie. You could also alternatively do a cute denim dress. I personally don't have a denim dress that would that would work with something like this, but if you had, you know, a strapless denim dress or, you know, a short sleeve denim dress or even kind of, um, you know, a tiny strap denim dress, I think that that also would be something that is really sexy that would work with 
in, in an outfit basically like this. So this is kind of like the formula. And I think that also kind of the oversizedness of the jacket and you're contrasting it with kind of the slimness of you know the overall look, I think that that's really kind of what helps it work. You could also on the flip side, do a you know tighter jacket on tie on top and then you know some big flared overall or wide leg you know you know denim jumpsuit or something like that to really kind of play with it and make it even more visually interesting so those that's kind of how i think is an easy way to kind of make this trend a bit more wearable but without feeling like you got a western feel Okay, the next trend I wanna talk about are the short shorts, short skirts. We have seen these micro skirts all over. They have been trending for like basically a year. Thinking through kind of how I could update this trend and make it a bit more wearable for everyday life, I actually drew directly from the French. So one of the things that I learned about French fashion when I moved here is that the French love, love, love to wear shorts with tights in the winter. And I was just like so surprised by this look. And so one of the things you can see here, what I've done is I've taken these shorts. These are some cute, you know, leather shorts. They're definitely short shorts to a certain degree. I've put on my little black tights underneath them to kind of, you know, give me some warmth as well. And then over the whole thing, I have put this sweater on it. I personally, really, really like this look. I think that it is a great way to kind of introduce this trend into your far wardrobe. And also it's a way to make it a bit more wearable. And again, you can swap out the shorts for a skirt, right? If you have a little tight skirt you wanna wear. Instead, if that's, if that's a way kind of you can, you can do that. And it's just a way I think to be able to wear that bit of a shorter skirt, but if you want to feel covered, then you'll feel covered and you'll feel more, you know, confident um, like, like that. Let's also talk about the blazers with the dramatic shoulders. We've seen these also all over the runway. I mean, Belmont actually though, I feel like has been doing this forever. So as you see, here's how I kind of decided one way to do it would be to use a slip dress. And I'm telling you, this is why I love slip dresses. I think they are one of the most versatile pieces you can add to your wardrobe because you really can wear them so many different ways. So with this particular outfit, you see I have this, just this plain black, slip dress and I've thrown one of these gigantic Balmain blazers over it with the huge shoulders, right? And boom, there you have it. There you have the look. You don't have to do much more. I've added on some heels as well because I think heels will kind of give me a little bit more height, which is essential for an outfit like this. You know, when you do have kind of one really big, very piece, it can become overpowering if you don't balance the outfit really well. So that's why I'm opting for the heels because I think the heels really kind of give me a little bit more height and then help create a little bit more of that balance. Plus also the heels have a bit of white in them, right? And so it also creates kind of that visual interest all the way down throughout the outfit. Last but not least, I really love kind of this, you know, very much sheer and lace trend that's kind of been going around for a bit. I think that it is something about it is very fun. And I personally kind of really, I really like, I really leaned into it. So one of the things that I've done is I've taken this really pretty sheer lace bodysuit that I have, and then I'm going to put it underneath a suit. This suit is actually a three-piece suit. It has suit. It has a vest, the blazer, and the pants. And you can do it with the little vest underneath, without the little vest underneath, either way. But the point is, is that this is a way where I'm adding kind of this very, you know, sexier kind of aspect of this dressing, but I'm also still remaining covered and then to kind of make everything a bit more casual and to kind of keep it keep this kind of mix that we have going on here I've paired it with some sneakers and so as a result I really like this outfit because I feel like it gives me that kind of sexiness that kind of panache that's a way for me to incorporate this trend in a way that I still feel comfortable and of course you know we're bringing in suiting which is another item that is trending of course for 
Oh. All right, so there we have it. Five fall fashion trends that were previously unwearable have now been turned into something that we can actually wear on our act in our actual daily lives without feeling weird or totally uncomfortable. Please let me know if you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, anything like that in the comments. As always, I will reply and respond. And also, as I already noted, I'm going to be putting all of the outfit details in the description box so you will have those all down there so you'll know exactly where I got each piece and um, I will note some of them are vintage of course because you know I'm a vintage girl but I will definitely tell you the shops that I got them from so that you can check in with them and see if they ever have anything similar. Oh, 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 oh.